Is it his name Daniel Bryan? This shit right here. Woo! Wrestlers, if you hear me, use your common yes. sense. <laughs> AKA Chico de Oro, de Cash Boy, Yo Tango Muy Grande, Verga de Toro. Charlotte, that bitch Flair. General Teso. Nous sommes le podcast numéro 2 en France, bébé. Magnifique! Y'all see me? I'm ready. I got my hoodie on. I'm ready to take my title back, even though it's sitting right here in my face. (laughs) (laughs) Nigga, can I get my shit, please? No. No. (laughs) (laughs) I could have told you that one. Before about the break in the house to get my shit back. Good luck. (laughs) (laughs) Shit ain't gonna be all. I run right through the door. And Cairo. Word. Wow. (laughs) Step on Cairo. (laughs) Go straight. Grab the pill. I'm out, boy. Cairo would definitely move out the way. Like, okay. Excuse me, kind sir. So pussy. You got it, OG. Shouts to my son Cairo, man. Yeah. Big room. Say, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, what's the vibes, man? What's the vibes like? Talk to me. It's cold and nasty. It's been raining for five days straight, man. I can't do this shit no more. Feels like London. Oh <laughs> it feels like London. <laughs> Ain't never even been no. <laughs> but this is what they say. <laughs> That's why it's raining. They, you know. Like now, not, not raining though. Yeah, bro. It's yes. been like, like it's in between like heavy rain and like drizzle rain, but it's been both. Yeah, it's been just wet and gloomy, foggy, overcast, real depression weather. Like real shit. Damn, That's crazy. It's been mad regular here, so I can't <laughs> wait at all. It's just like every day, eighty degrees, sunny. Hot. Yeah, like. I'm like, damn, y'all going through it with the rain over there. Mm-hmm. Man, just wait. Wait till I move to Las Vegas, man. I ain't never going to see rain ever again. <laughs> uh, <laughs> my life will be great. I'm going to hear this every morning I wake up. <laughs> my life going to be nothing but sunshine. Man, get that damn music. Hot as shit over there. I'm, I'm I'll tell you. Speaking of Vegas, did y'all see that that guy that placed a like it was like a fifteen leg parlay on um on? Okay, I'm gonna like, tell you right now, I didn't record. see it, bro. This man bet ten dollar bet, fifteen leg parlay, I think it was, and the total payout was like eighty thousand dollars. He had the opportunity to cash out, I think twenty three thousand. Oh, he, I think he just needed the um the Rams to win on Monday. Nigga did not cash out at all. Mm-mm. That boy started losing. Went from twenty three thousand to nineteen thousand. Still didn't cash out. Nineteen to ten thousand. Still didn't cash out. They lost, and he ain't win shit. Boy, <laughs> let me tell He's you. A loser. Hold that. Hold that. <laughs> let me tell you something. You're a liar. Oh, my father. Let me tell you something. You're a loser. <laughs> Boy, what? If he make that a drop, please. Boy. Jay Khaled being like, let me tell you something. You're a loser. <laughs> man, That's fucking insane. 23, Ben. If that was my man's, I would have smacked the shit out. I'm like, bro, cash, well, I would have grabbed his phone and cash out for him. That's what he get. That's exactly what he get. Who putting the whole bet on the Rams though? Like, nigga, I'm taking this twenty two thousand and going home. Real well, shit. It was bro. eighty though at first. Or if no, it would have been. It would have been oh. eighty if he won. If the uh, if the Rams won, it would have been like seventy five, seventy nine thousand and change, whatever it was. But it was really twenty three that he won so far. He just needed one more team to win, and it was like it was up to twenty three. And wow, that nigga did not cash out at all. I was like, bro. And everybody was going up to him like, yo, bro, cash out. He was like, no, nah, I'm not going to cash out, bro. I'm good. I'm not cashing out. I'm like, okay, all right. Nigga lost everything. Then, like, BR Bleacher Report, bets came up to him. It was like, yo, you know, we, we know you lost your bet or whatever, but we're going to send you right back here to Vegas for, I think it was, like, the playoffs or something like that. We're going to bring you back. This nigga started celebrating. I was like, boy, bring bring back my $80,000. <laughs> 
That's what y'all need to bring back right now, man. Nigga, what? They hit me up with that shit. Get the fuck out my face. I don't want to talk to you niggas. I don't want to talk to nobody. I'm throwing a nigga off the balcony. You remember when Big Show threw Kurt, off, Kurt Angle off that shit? I'm throwing niggas off the balcony. <laughs> Choke slamming niggas off the balcony, son. What are you talking about you bringing me back to Vegas? To lose? Sir, get the fuck out my face, please, man. You should have told him the, the Tyree shit. What more do you want from me? <laughs> I ain't got shit. Yo, that's wild, nigga. If that shit would have said, oh, I'm I got 200. I came up on 200 dollars I'm cashing that shit out. <laughs> Real shit. That's just a 22,000. Yeah, he's crazy. 22 bands, bro. And this... Cash out your parlays, y'all. That's all I'm gonna say. Cash it out. Cause it's always it's always that one that's gonna screw you over. Mm-hmm. You know how many weeks in a row college football, you feel me, Saturdays? I done missed a, a, a whole part. My parlay shot because Oklahoma want to lose <laughs> or damn uh, Kentucky State or some shit. Some wild, some random ass team winning. It's like, come on, dog. What's, ha- what's happening here? Yeah. <laughs> Fucked up the whole line. Like, word. Like, come on, man. I need y'all niggas to lose. Do what you do. <laughs> <laughs> niggas be unranked and shitty. Like, bro, off when you bet against them, them niggas turn into the greatest football team ever. Like, niggas bro. turn into the Chiefs. I'm like, bro, y'all are some JUCO niggas. Like, why are y'all, why are y'all turning up like this? Y'all play ball at DeVry University. DeVry. <laughs> <laughs> the niggas is whooping the damn the Sooners ass. Like, damn, bro. But anywho. That's not the hand no damn man. I just say that to say cash out on your bets, man. Whatever it may be. Literally or figuratively. Learn to cash out. You know what I'm saying? Some solid advice, Eve. <laughs> cash like, out. Eve always giving niggas some gambling knowledge about what a crazy hand gold. gesture after it, too. Some game, man. I'm about to apply to some um I'm gonna tell y'all afterwards, chill. Cody seen in the group. <laughs> oh yeah, I, I just gotta up. I gotta you know put a little seasoning on my resume. I haven't even seen my resume in like four years, so I'm like, you know what? Let me let me uh, blow the dust off of this. You know what I'm saying? Get the cobwebs off it. Hook it up one time. So I'm about to spruce it up. See what it's talking about. Apply for a job. Tell them I need a hundred thousand. I'm walking. Or <laughs> niggas just gonna close their laptops. Like, all right. <laughs> Whatever, nigga. <laughs> okay. Y'all ready to get this short episode? I I was gonna say something, but my memory is just so horrible right now. Yo, I don't know what it is, bro. My memory is just like completely done, son. And it's sad. You gotta Sunday. reload it or fucking <laughs> reboot. You, gotta, you need a hard reset your your brain. You need to charge your shit. <laughs> no, I do, I do, but yeah, like hey, Eve um alluded to, might have a little short little episode, man. We coming right back though on Saturday. Big facts, you know what I mean. We're going live. We going live. Extreme rules right after the pay per view. We gonna be right here breaking it down brick by brick, brick upon brick, Ooh. brick upon brick, upon brick. brick. <laughs> hey, I ain't hear that song in a minute. Hold on. Where's Skilly at? They're making bad music with DJ Khaled. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <That's> anyway. <not. laughs> I think DJ Khaled find every single Jamaican he know and put them on one song. I'm like, all right, man. <laughs> and then he acts Jamaican, like, bro, relax. <laughs> Calm down. <laughs> That's that's like his past, like <laughs> the used that. That's his alter ego. He's like, yeah, I was a Rasta, like, but you're not. You were, no. you were not, nigga. You're an imposter. That's what you are. You're a liar. <laughs> <laughs> you fraud. <laughs> this nigga DJ Khaled really think he Jamaican? That nigga don't know what. I thought DJ Khaled was Spanish for at least. <laughs> I thought the nigga was Puerto Rican. Like, <laughs> he had on a Terror Squad chain. I was like, oh, all right. I found out he was Arabic four years ago. Yeah. Where's he from, though? He's from, like, Morocco, or is he from, like, 
the from Middle like East. Palestine or some shit. Oh. That nigga from East. New Orleans, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> that too. I no, I'm dead ass. Yeah, I know. He was like born in New Orleans and <laughs> moved to Miami. And DJ Khaled's past is, is weird, bro. The nigga yeah. sold DVDs for Birdman. It's, it's odd. He's <laughs> Look, a hustler. It's... He's still a hustler, though. I can believe that. Nah, he is. <laughs> the nigga sold DVDs for Birdman. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga put that on his resume. Sold DVDs. <laughs> Entrepreneur. <laughs> you feel me? You gotta get it where you get it. Word. I got a background in sales. I'm about to lie. Oh my God. I'm about to lie on my resume. Crazy. Come on, bro. Do you have uh, knowledge with a cash register? Yes. <laughs> Never in my life even worked a cash <laughs> register. <laughs> I don't even know how to open that motherfucker. I'm at the cash <laughs> register punching that shit right here. I don't even know how to open this shit. I'm gonna be like, ding, ding, ding. You gotta get this shit to open, huh? Nigga yelling at it like that's gonna do something. Like, open it up. Oh, open. Open sesame. Open. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna do a magic to the damn cash register, get it to open. No, but technology these days is like so, you know, advanced, like using. <laughs> Uh, freaking cash register though, like especially like our like um system that we're using too. It's literally so easy, like it's mad intuitive. Like you don't even have to think, like you don't even have to try. Like it's just like mm-hmm. if someone is telling you that they want this and that, you go in there, you go to the table, you press this, you press that. That's it. Like you know, it's easy. So God bless technology, man. Right. Don't worry, Eve. You'll be able to lie and get away with it. I believe in you. <laughs> I'm in the bank working, niggas. I need fifteen hundred dollars. I'm like, I'm over here counting the shit like this. <laughs> <laughs> Taking that forty five minutes to count that shit up. <laughs> oh, let me count it one more time. Let me it. <laughs> Wait, count it again. Count it again. <laughs> Three hundred. <laughs> 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 oh my god, that was funny. Oh shit. You got that line around the block. <laughs> that one. One, two, three. <laughs> Niggas in the damn parking lot honking. <laughs> and, and that's all. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, Gucci Mon. <laughs> oh, yeah, my name Gucci Mon this this week. <laughs> oh shit, let's get to the business, man. Let's do it. All right, y'all, check it out. We got five Patreon tiers, okay? We have the dollar tier, which is just a dollar. It's a donation. We have the $5 tier, which is audio and Discord access. We have the $10 tier, which gets you audio, video, Discord access, and a discount on merch. And the $20 tier is for the ballers. You get all of that, plus you get to be on one of the shows. That's on the Patreon, all right? Subscribe to the Patreon today. Become a patron. I'm Eve, and I approve this message. We out. The Black and Off Table Podcast. Yes, sir. Let's do it, man. Episode 248, Black Announce Table Podcast, where we hit you with the newest and the latest of what's going on in the wrestling world. This week, news and rumor segment is presented by Discover. No rumor where you can redeem your Discover credit card rewards. Learn more. Discover.com slash redeem rewards. And for this week, news and rumors, I want to kick things off with something I've seen. I did see the part two of the Ariel Hawani and Seth Rollins um, sit down. They had did part one, um, I think right before Clash at the Castle. And it was short. He was talking about Riddle and everything was going on, his feud with Riddle and everything. But um, on this part two, he got into like, he was... He was in his feelings. It, it seemed like Seth was sharing a lot. You know what I'm saying? He was really seemed like a little therapy session, to be honest with you. But he was talking about how he's never why, like he's never been the guy in WWE, you know, um, in the time of Roman Reigns now, John Cena then. It's just like he's never been the guy. He was talking about the Fiend character and why it was hard for him to work with a character like that. 
And he basically said maybe it was him, like why it didn't like the whole fiend feud was like received badly, or poorly. He like he's like he couldn't work that kind of kind of character to make it seem believable and everything. And it was just a lot of gems in this interview. Like I'm like, dog, Seth is really opening up and I liked it though. It was real dope. I don't know if you guys seen it. Yeah, I got to, um I got to check it out. It was real interesting. Just the fact that he like I don't know, he got he got imposter syndrome like a motherfucker. Like that's what I took from it. Like cause I feel like I feel like he was that guy. I should, I still feel like he is that guy. You know what I'm saying? But he, he basically he's saying like he's not number one. You know what I'm saying? Like he's like, I'm gonna I'm gonna forever be the number two. You know what I'm saying? He was like, I'll be I'll be the um what did he say? He was like, I'll be the macho man, the Romans, uh Hulk Hogan, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. The the edge to his Cena type shit. So it was like, damn, bro, like he was like even when he did uh which is weird because he was like even when I like cashed in the money in the bank and he had that moment at WrestleMania, he was like, I still didn't feel like I was the guy. I was like, damn, mm-hmm. son, like it's kind of sad to hear it because it's like, bro, that's one of the greatest moments in like in WrestleMania history, like mm-hmm. one of the greatest cash ins ever, like, and for you to feel like just like you're not like worthy of it or like you you still not that guy is it's kind of crazy, especially when he he's considered one of the best wrestlers in the world. He's one of the one of the the most consistent wrestlers on um on TV. Every week he's going out, he's putting on bangers. He's a, a consummate professional, you know what I'm saying? He always does what he has to do. So I kind of I kind of felt bad a little bit. It's like, damn, like, you don't got to feel like that, bro. Like, I understand why you feel like that, but you you know, you don't got to feel like that. Yeah, I mean, I completely agree. I feel like it makes me feel very sad to, you know, like to hear Seth talk that way because first of all, I feel like his character doesn't portray any of that. You know, like I would never just from because I mean, I'm not really here sitting listening to all of his interviews to know who he is as a person. Right. So like Mm -hmm. to hear this, it was just really eye opening for me because he seemed so confident. I feel like he exudes confidence all the time. So to hear him be like, oh, I didn't think that that moment was shit. I think that I'm the reason or I have a part to play and why the Fiend's character didn't like take off because they dropped the ball like. You could have just asked us, Seth. We would have told you. It's because they dropped the ball. It literally had nothing to do with him. Um, But it just goes to show, like, sometimes you're just so hard on yourself that you don't even see the fact that you were a, a moment in WrestleMania history, like, that mad people be like that's one of their like top five moments you know what i mean Mm -hmm. so to hear him even be like oh like that like yeah i still didn't you know feel like it was worth the hype or whatever it's just like really like you really have to like acknowledge the things that you've done and pat yourself on the back sometimes you know like like you were saying if i do see why he would feel like you know I'm not a terrible person, but I'm just not the best. It's just like, sometimes I feel like, I don't know. I don't know how to receive stuff like that. I feel like you have to go at your own pace and you have to like be your own cheerleader. Like, that's just how I feel. Facts. I'll be having the moments too. It's like, damn, so I'm like, I don't know, cuz. You know, like, <laughs> I, yeah. I don't know, man. It's the imposter, I definitely feel him on the imposter syndrome shit, man, like, for real. And even, like, when he was talking about, like, The Fiend, talking about, like, you know, trying to, like, say, like, is it my fault that, you know, things didn't work out? Seth Rollins, if you see this, it is 100% not your fault. It is 100% Bray Wyatt's fault. I don't know. It's somebody's <laughs> fault, man, but it's not your fault, man. Because, like, thinking about it, bro, The Fiend character, whoever The Fiend, like, worked with, after they, the like, I feel like he left like a stench on that person for like for not forever, but for a minute. You know oh, what I'm wow. saying? Like, he worked with Seth first, and Seth had a stench on him. Like, he, for, listen, like at least six Finn months. Balor has never recovered. Can we just say Finn this? Balor, Seth Rollins, um, damn Braun Strowman. Braun Strowman got fired, bro. Like, that's what, like, that's. 
Like it's it's crazy because Seth even said that. Like he was questioning himself, but then he said later Randy in the interview. Also, sorry to cut you off. Go ahead. Wait, what happened? No, I said I said Randy. I could add Randy Orton to that list also. I'll let yeah. list. But go on, go on. No, nah, he like to your point. He was he was saying that. You know what I'm saying? He's even though he said that he um he felt like maybe it was his fault or whatever. But later on, he said whoever worked with the fiend didn't come out looking the best after it. He said maybe Daniel Bryan came out looking the best out of all the people the fiends feud with, which is true. And it's like that's why I, like you can't be that hard on yourself. And like in this interview, Seth comes off like he's super competitive with himself, and like it's. <laughs> It's all over that interview. It's just like, dog, chill. I re I respect it. Don't get me wrong. I respect it. You, obviously, you do something. You want to be the best. You give it your all. You go out there every night, risk your body, put your health, everything on the line. Stay away from it. Like, you get, you gotta be away from your kids and family and stuff. So obviously, you want to go in and go crazy. But, fam, you <laughs> you're one of the best in the world, bro. Like, just always remember that. It, it doesn't hurt to strive to be the best, though. But, Seth, you got to chill just a little bit. Just cool out, bro. But it's like I said, bro, it's that imposter syndrome, man, where you, like, you start to question yourself. You start to question if you're really good at things. Like, you start to question everything. Where it's like, bro, did I only get this because of this? Am I in this position? Because, you know, it, like, it, it starts to, it really, like, it fucks with your mental. But you, like you said, like, you got to, you kind of got to, one, give yourself some credit. Two, stop overthinking which could be hard for a lot of people you know what i'm saying like it's, it's hard to just turn your brain off you know what i'm saying and just stop thinking about shit but it's kind of what you have to do you just got to take it easy and just accept the fact that yo I, i'm nice you know what i'm saying it is what it is like you, you can't whatever accolades you got you can't take them away you know what i'm saying like you still uh, what is he like a five-time wwe champion or whatever it is like bro like you still that guy man so great interview yeah it, it, it definitely was a great interview definitely i had um seen something i think the guys at the ringer um i had just seen it on the timeline uh, a couple of days ago they were speaking on um shit they were like seth or roman who had the better like career up to this point and they were adding to the fact that you could look at the accolades. You could look at Roman's current tribal chief run. But in totality, who's been like most entertaining throughout all of their time in the WWE and stuff? And they were adding in these factors. And it, it shocked me that two of them said Seth and two of them said Roman. I was like, that's a, I, I was not expecting that. But if you look at their careers, like who would, who would you say is more like who who had the better run so far throughout their whole career? Uh, I'd I'd say Seth Rollins. I feel like he did more <clears throat> in the in like the ten years that he's been here. I feel like he's done more than Roman because we we I feel like we had the same Roman Reigns up until twenty twenty. You know what I'm saying? So I I probably say um Seth. And I feel like we got more bangers out of Seth. Oh, for sure. If we just like comparing, like if I take everything else out and I'm just comparing bangers against bangers, I'd say Seth Rollins. Hmm. Let's see you. I was see, man. I would have to. I would have to go. I would have to go Seth as well. And it's crazy because. Like looking at looking back on it and just adding that into the factor and everything, it's like accolade accolades wise, they not that far off. Like, you know, and Roman just has this once in a lifetime reign right now. Like he's just so dominant now and he's just had that. We just seen the tribal chief for the past two years, but it's years prior that you have to take into account as well. So I'm I'm gonna have to pick Seth as well. You already know where I stand, so. <laughs> oh, God. Loyalty. That's law. You already Get know. Get off, dick. You're a dick. <laughs> you're all in your fucking mouth, dog. <laughs> Woo. 
But but Seth was right though. <laughs> Seth, Seth never he never was the guy. Like you know what I'm saying? Nah, he was right. He's he he oh he really has been number two, but yeah. He's been backpedaling for some time now, but I don't know. Hey, I feel like to be number two to number fifty or whatever it is. Exactly. Seth mm-hmm. is very entertaining. I mean, like whenever we talk about, you know, like dream matches and stuff like that, like, oh, who would you want to see go? I feel like Seth Rollins' name always comes up in some way, shape, or form where people are always, you know, wanting to see him fight somebody else. But you don't really hear that when it comes to Roman, you know what I mean? Because he has five moves in his move set. But yes, do I love all of those moves though, Roman? Yes, I do. If you're watching this, Tribal Chief, you already know. Don't play that shit again. I will knock you out. How <laughs> <laughs> do you know? <laughs> I already saw I, I the look on I saw his there. little beady eyes staring down. Oh, I was like, hey. Beady. <laughs> Let me go. Let me go ahead and line that up. On <laughs> man's play second to Roman, then go home play second to Becky. Like, damn. Um. damn. <laughs> 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 Boss up here, find peace. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga running around the crib tight. Oh. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I don't even know should we even get into this now, but um, the Andrade, Sammy, thing that's going on right now, Sammy Guava, <laughs> Guala Guala, <laughs> Guala Guala. All I know is I seen a tweet from Sammy Guevara that was like, "You're a jobber, get over yourself, yada yada." Didn't tweet at Andrade, which is very pussy. You know what I'm saying? Or even just addressing like anything online. You know what I'm saying? Like going to Twitter, like I don't know that that locker room is very immature, bro. Like niggas, they be airing shit out in the worst way possible. You shouldn't be airing shit out at all. You know what I'm saying? Like niggas be going to the dirt sheets. Y'all be cutting cutting ass in the ring, going into work uh, uh work for yourself. Y'all go on Twitter. It's like, bro, can we just can we keep shit in house? No, the answer is no. They can't. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> no. uh, can you pull that uh that clip back up just so I can read it? You know what I'm saying? Andrade has been using wait, Andrade has been used worse in AEW than he was in WWE. During a week with a uh, hurricane, several wrestlers injured and suspended. Andrade still didn't wrestle on Dynamite. His manager hints that his time in AEW is coming to an end. El Idolo is booked in a mass versus career match this week on Rampage. Which they canceled, by the way. Word. I was just about to say the plot thickens. You know what I'm <laughs> saying? Because apparently tonight. There was an altercation backstage and at Dynamite between him and Sammy Guevara. And s- sources said that Tony Khan sent them both home. Boom. 15 minutes after sources said Tony Khan sent them both home, I seen Sammy Guava on my TV with Chris Jericho and the Jericho Society. And I said, y'all have lied to me yet again. You know what I'm saying? That's why I don't believe y'all, man. However, yeah. it could have been pre-taped. You know what I'm saying? You never know. But for the sake of this argument, y'all lied. You're liars. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, man, it, lo- it looks like they got into it backstage. Uh, they canceled the match on Friday because of it. And, and yeah, man, we don't know what's going on with uh, with Andrade. He's been hinting that, you know. He wants to get out. He's been tweeting like fr- hashtag free El Idolo. I've been seeing him uh, tweet that a lot in the past week. Um, so yeah, man, I don't I don't know what's going on, but Andrade, come home, brother. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Come on, come on back, big dog. He did an interview. He stated he feels stuck in AEW, and he also praised Triple H. Mm. So in the words of Eve, come on home, big dog. Or come on, big dog. I actually have um a clip from that Andrade interview. I'm gonna play it right here. Hold on, <laughs> it's audio. Hold on. I was in special education. I never learned language. I'm not sure if I know how to read, but I'm here. <laughs> That's crazy, man. 
That's fucking nuts. That was unhinged, Ephraim. <laughs> <laughs> he said, yo, I'm, I'm here, bro. <laughs> like, I'm here. Help! <laughs> you might as well have played the 50 cent clip where he was talking about Ooh. Floyd. <laughs> Read one page out of a Harry Potter book. <laughs> Andrade, if you can do that, I'll get you out of your AEW contract, man. <laughs> <laughs> Myself. Word. <laughs> you don't need no lawyers, man. Call me. <laughs> <laughs> But so yeah, you man. can scam his dumb ass. <laughs> like, you know, for me to do this, gonna cost you at least seven million dollars, bro. <laughs> Steal it from Rick. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, that might be easy to do. Like Rick Flair, give me this, give me this watch. <laughs> let me just roll get up. off me, let old me. man. All right, let me get this QC chain offset gave you real quick. Let me get that too. <laughs> Let me get these Bentley keys. Then you don't need these. You can fool that whole family. <laughs> hmm. Man, but I ain't gonna say nothing about Charlotte though. That's Scared? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Did you see her big boot ever? Word with the heel on the bottom. Come on now. Come on, dog. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yo, you seen Boosie? He was in his backyard. He was at some party, and they put the camera on some nigga that looked like him. <laughs> y'all see that shit? Oh my god, son. yo, that nigga Boosie looked pissed off. <laughs> <laughs> this is the funniest shit ever, son. Yo, Boosie is a clown, son. Oh man. <sighs> well, yo, Andrade. Go ahead, man. Yeah, as far as Sammy Guevara goes, I'm tired of him. Man. Well, actually, I never liked Sammy Guevara, to be honest with you. To be completely honest, I, I never felt like I never felt like he added anything to to anybody or anything. You know what I'm saying? Like he's just there. You taking up space. You hurt niggas. You know what I'm saying? How many how many matches he done hurt somebody else or himself? You know what I'm saying? You done said some crazy things before about Sasha Banks and some other women. You know what I'm saying? Mm-mm. Come on, come on, man. Yeah. Now this, it's like, come on, you would would you fire Sammy Guevara or no? Me? Yeah, we got the Andrade thing, the thing with him and Eddie Kingston. Now they're saying it's a work shoot, you know what I'm saying? It's like uh because it, it's it's a work shoot because they have no cre- let's be clear, <laughs> they don't got no creative team. So it's like, all right, let's let's set the story up on Twitter. Okay. Mm-hmm. That, that's y'all. That's your team, man. I wouldn't fire him, but <laughs> uh, you will see a lot less of Sammy on TV. I tell you that. I had that's a nigga. Doing, uh, I had a nigga doing custodial work or some shit. Yeah, I have him doing some bullshit for real, for real. Or you cleaning the toilets, nigga? Seven weeks straight. Sheesh. <laughs> that's od. It, it is what it is, cause. <laughs> Oh, I'm looking at these images that we prepare for the show, listeners, and I see one that says, I'll die for this shit. <laughs> so I'm going to put this on the screen, and we're going to go from here. I bet. Damn. This is a wild group of people, man. <laughs> <Yo. laughs> How does this get in here? <laughs> man, because niggas is really willing to die for this shit, for real. Mm-hmm. Well, protocols followed for Tua. Whose doctor are you firing? Okay. All right. So for the people that aren't watching, I guess this is a little game that we, I don't know. This is the game, right? Let's, let's play some game music, man. <laughs> Where protocols followed. <laughs> <laughs> let's see. We got Ric Flair. We got Drew McIntyre. Tua Tagalaloa, JJ Watt, and Soraya. Hmm. Soraya is here because she has a, well, had, they haven't cleared it yet. We don't know what's going on. Had a career ending neck injury in 2017. JJ Watt is here because his heart was shocked into rhythm on Thursday and he played Sunday. Wow. And his wife is carrying a child right now. Oh, my God. <laughs> Yo. Tua Tagalaloa 
had severe head trauma twice in one week. Hey, if you've seen that Thursday night game, crazy, bro. Yeah. Um, Drew McIntyre received the IV before SmackDown last week. He still went out and did his thing. I don't know, though. Drew just had the doodle. You know what I'm saying? My son just had, uh, what's that shit? Food Stomach bro. virus. Yeah, I think he just had the, the bubble guts. Yeah. I, I got a doodle. Yeah, that, that was that nigga, man. <laughs> 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 Yeah. And Rick Flair is 73 years old, almost died in 2017. Has a pa- he has a pacemaker in his chest? Oh my god. Yeah. Yo, all right. Uh all right. Well, protocols followed, man. Who's whose doctor are we firing? Ooh. It's close. Oh man. I I, I, I first seen this. We gotta get Rick Flair doctor out of here. That's yeah. number one. But guess what? <laughs> JJ Watt? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, this white football man, he <laughs> is he's wilding. Your heart was shocked in a rhythm on Thursday, and you're going to play on, su- on Sunday, and your wife is pregnant? Sir. Hmm. That's right. the real definition of and I die for this shit. <laughs> Literally, <laughs> I <doubt it. laughs> but I think Ric Flair wins because it says 73 almost died in 2017. <laughs> <laughs> has a pacemaker in his chest. KP, you are messy, but mm. this is great. Thank you for this. I, I'll probably vote for um, I'll probably vote for the two NFL guys, man. NFL, mm. bro, NFL protocols are insane, yeah. bro. Yeah, for real. So we I'm knew that Rick Flair is wild, so yeah. Yeah, Rick Flair. I feel like Rick Flair, we don't have to fire Rick Flair's doctor because Rick Flair made that decision for himself. Mm-hmm. So go out there, you know what I'm saying, and, and do that. But these guys, these guys, we gotta fire their doctors because the doctors checked them out and cleared them to go back out there. Yeah, that's crazy. They're definitely you know getting saying? fired. Word. So we, we gotta fire the Dolphins doctors and the Cardinals doctors, man. Facts. And as for Soraya, I just seen her mixing it up on AEW. So I guess she's cleared to come back and wrestle. Mixing up what, sir? Throwing punches. She threw somebody out the ring. They had a little brawl in there. Mm-hmm. Oh, all right. <sighs> Speaking of Soraya, <laughs> Goofy does it again, man. AW <laughs> crowd turns on Soraya and disputes her claims she was treated unfairly in the WWE. Via tweet, Soraya attempts to walk back her statement only to delete it hours later. Not the tweet and delete. Oh, the infamous. I think. <clears throat> Come on now. Gotta hit him with the tweet and delete when shit ain't going right. Hold up now. Whoa, whoa. whoa. <laughs> <laughs> when we start getting packed up, it's like, I mean, let me let me go ahead and cl- take care of this. Yeah. Come on now. Did you did you see her uh, her thing last week? Her debut. Her um when she came out and cut a promo. Yeah. I I didn't see that one. I seen when she like first came back. Cause she, I like it was another. She came back two weeks ago, right? Was it two weeks ago? Yeah, I think she just came out. When did she come out and, and bring out all the women? That was, was that last week or two weeks ago? Last week. Yeah, so that's what I'm I'm talking about. When mm. she brought out all the women and she was like, yeah, I got a boss that finally listens to me. And we're going to see what I do and yada, yada, yada. And it was just, it was like, all right, man, let's let's pack this up. We, we, I'm glad you're okay, but I ain't really here to see you, dog. Go, go back to the back, huh? I'm I ain't gonna trying to hear it, man. I ain't gonna hold you. Like when people talk like that, like dog, we looking out for you, my nigga. If you want to go out there and get hurt and fucking paralyze yourself, then fucking go right ahead. Sign this waiver, nigga. Don't just don't hold us responsible. But Literally. nigga, we holding you back for you, like, and got the nerve to be talking crazy. Word. Mm. Shit. Hey, look, if you don't care about you, I don't care about you either, baby. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is, man. What more? What more can I say? 
You know what I'm saying? It ain't, it ain't nothing else I could do or say about it. Sorry. You ain't talking stupid, stupid shit. Yeah. Mm. It, I just feel like, I don't know. Part of me feels sad for her that I'm just like, you really don't care about your own well being that you're going to go out here and embarrass yourself like this. But like you guys said, you can't say nothing. You can't do nothing. This is her choice. So, <clears throat> word. And the lines that she was trying to hit Britt Baker with was just corny. Like, she was, yeah. Britt Baker was like, Britt Baker said something about her neck. She was like, that's crazy. You ain't even saying anything because your name rhymes with shit or something like that. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, brother. brother man, let's, let's pack, let's wrap this up, man. Let's come on. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. And on that note, what that's, else we got? <laughs> that's thing. We got anything else to add for this segment? Um, yeah, I, I, I seen a tweet. Yeah, so Triple H hires Marvel comic writer Rob Fee. Uh, he's worked on comics such as The Avengers, Daredevil, Spider Man. He was also part of like the Ellen show and like a bunch of Disney projects. Um, and he'll serve as the director of longtime creative. Effective immediately. So this this kind of reminded me of the um the Triple H Ariel Hawani interview where he was talking about like just stories, you know what I'm saying, and like movies and things like that. Mm-hmm. So I kind of that's that's the vibe I got from that. So we'll see what we get from this, man. I was I was just about to say that like once once you read it. I was like, that doesn't surprise me at all. Like hearing him, like you said, in the Ariel Hawani joint and the um the podcast with with Logan Paul too. Like and just mm-hmm. seeing his his the guys he gravitates towards, like a Dexter Loomis carrying cross type of shit. Mm-hmm. All of it is starts it starts making sense once you put the pieces together. Yeah, Dexter Loomis. That's your boy. I don't know. I don't know that nigga, man. Dex yeah. Loomis is booth, man. We we could have bring Vince back, man. Oh <laughs> now you folding over Dexter Loomis. Like, That's crazy. He, he for sure creepy for no reason, but he don't do yeah. nothing. This nigga is just there. Like he really speak, nigga, like say something. Nigga's like he's a he's a looking ass motherfucker. Word looking boy. Chill, yeah. man. Easiest job. <laughs> You show up looking, niggas. <laughs> <laughs> they pass him the script for his segment. Like, nigga, I don't need this shit. Just tell me what I look. All right. That shit just a blank paper. He like, all right. Not his head, my bro. <laughs> <laughs> say less. Dexter. <laughs> Word. That should say Dexter. It's just nothing there. <laughs> like, <laughs> man, that's, I, uh... hey, that's y'all man's, man. What can I say? Yeah, man. Um, We got anything else? Ah, I think then we covered the the main things. Yeah, man. All right, man, let's do it. Acknowledge me. I'm a blueprint. The strong is the fastest, the roughest. I'm that bitch. I don't miss this week in wrestling. Where to start? Where to start? Where to start? Um, shouts out to Daniel Cormier. I don't know if y'all into UFC like that, but um, he's going to be the referee for the Riddle and Seth match at Extreme Rules. I love that. So, man, they making, they building this up even more. I love it. I'm, I'm, I really want to see this match. This is probably the match I'm looking forward to the most out of Extreme Rules, to be honest with you. Facts. But... You know how like the shit got like stairs to it, like and levels to it and shit like like I want to see like how they're gonna do it, like on in the ring or like on TV, because both of the times they did it in NXT, it was like in a warehouse. Mm-hmm. So like I don't know, the vibe was different. So I'm interested to see like how they're gonna play it off or do it up, you know, in front of twelve thousand people. Yeah, yeah. I think that match is going be the last match oh you think they're gonna close with that they, if like they might have to change shit up like fuck with the ring and shit like you saying oh 
And it's, I, I think it's worthy of the like um, main event too. Roman not on the show. They bring yeah. it in DC. Wait, yeah, so right. I'm bugging. Drew's fighting um Cross. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. We are gonna get into that later. But yeah, no, I'm I'm definitely um I feel like adding DC to this was a, a good touch. Um and I feel like we gotta they gotta keep that um I guess that that door or that, that line between you know the UFC and the WWE open. So like I, I like that that look right there. You know what I'm saying? You bring DC for a UFC or an MMA type match. Fight. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So that was that was a nice little touch right there. And I like the fact that I don't know if we talked about it last week, but every match on Extreme Rules has some type of stipulation. Mm-hmm. Which is something niggas been asking for forever. You know what I'm saying? Like it just Thank you, Mr. H's. Sense. Facts. Mm-hmm. It only makes sense, man. So he's him. <laughs> <laughs> That's facts. Like, it's like, come on, let's. And honestly, Extreme Rules is one of them ones. Was one of the pay per views. Was like, nah, we could probably do away with this. You know what I'm saying? Like, if it was up to me, just because like they wasn't utilizing the pay per view properly. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Like, for me, like it's been like TLC and shit like that. It's like, bro, why are we doing just a regular ass match at tables, ladders, and chairs? Like. Why is yeah. this extreme rules and niggas is doing a regular match? Like, nah, bro, let's let's tweak this up a little bit. Let's get it shaking. Nah, for real. Um, but SmackDown, SmackDown looked exactly like Monday Night Raw. Um, because the hurricane and many superstars was missing and all of that stuff. But it was something major that happened. This possibly could turn this superstar's career right around. And the superstar's been flunking ever since they got called up to the main roster. But I think we solved it because Shotzi has her tank back. Oh, my God. I thought you were talking about Finn Balor. I thought you were (laughs) talking about damn. Anybody else. Or what's what's that boy name? Colin Austin Theory. Colin Theory. (laughs) Not Colin. (laughs) You're talking about Austin Theory. You're talking about Shotzi. Hey, man. We here. I, I don't want to. I'm going to be nice today. Let me relax. Let me relax. We here. What you mean? Shotzi. I'm a, you know, after, I'm going to just turn my mic off after I say this. Shotzi, I hope you know how to learn to drop some fries or something. Drive a truck. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hey, I see you more than Friday. She, she came. I think she came out like Friday night, running to the ring to save somebody. I think Bianca is somebody. I was like, boy, this is boof. Like this shit is. Hold on, I got it right here, man. <laughs> that smells stank. I was like, nah, <laughs> man, I ain't jacking this right here, man. This shit, it stinks. <laughs> I was like, nah, <laughs> I can't do it, bro. And niggas want me to be hyped about her tank. Yeah. Nigga, it can't do nothing. It can't shoot no. bullets. No, <laughs> it, it, it can't shoot bullets. <laughs> she tried pyro out of it. I was like, "Oh shit, we here." Nigga, take mm-hmm. that shit to them to MSG and shoot some damn T-shirts out of them motherfucker. <laughs> That's what you need to do. Make it useful. Word. <laughs> Go shoot some damn T-shirts out that can. And come out at halftime and shoot some T-shirts out of that motherfucker. <laughs> so the nose bleeds, nigga. Word. <laughs> the real niggas get some teas. <laughs> That's jokes. No, nah, the little <laughs> nigga, they be having the niggas like throwing the t-shirts. Like, fam, you are not Aaron Rodgers. <laughs> <at all. Word. laughs> you don't get some type of object. Shoot some shit up here. Word. If you don't get my son up in in the in the three thirties, nigga, <laughs> in the two hundreds, if you don't get my son over there, you shooting. You throwing this shit from the ring to damn section 107 or some shit. Nigga, that's, that's a 10-yard pass, nigga. That's light. <laughs> like, right. Throw this shit up in the bleachers. Um, It's not a lot to talk about in this segment. So that's why I felt like, Shotzi, you deserve, you deserve some love, man. That's all I'm saying. Hey, um, should be nice. I'm be honest, man. I miss Monday Night Raw. 
I tried to watch it yesterday. I fell asleep during it. I was like, it just wasn't meant to be, cuz. Oh, you know so, you, so you didn't see my boy Mustafa Ali with the fresh braids. No, I did see he had fresh braids. It was like a promo with him and our truth, I think. Um it might have been like some w, some backstage shit that they did, but mm. I seen that he had a, a fresh braid out. You know what I'm saying? Okay. My fault, I braid up. You know what I'm saying? I was like, yo, who who did this? What African <laughs> lady you went to that did this for you? That shit was clean too. I was like, nah, hold on, man. Yeah. Yeah, it was clean. I was like, I was like, fam, I know your scalp is on fire, my nigga. <laughs> Bobby Lashley throwing this nigga around the ring, landing on his head. Like, yeah. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Word. Landing on them fresh Iverson braids. Damn. Nah, it was I woke up in the morning was like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> I <started> screaming. <laughs> like, that nigga woke up with a mean headache. <laughs> nigga, migraine booming. <laughs> Yikes. Migraine booming. Shit, I ain't never had to. You ever had like super tight braids? Yes. That shit hurt your scalp? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nigga's scalp was bleeding. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> you laughing? That shit is that shit is no joke, son. That shit is not fun. Nah, because like yo, how is like I, I never had braids. I'm like I just keep it simple. You feel me? I got waves and keep it. That's it. But to me, it's like, bro, how is niggas like making your braids so tight that your head hurts? Like, like niggas is just tying a shoelace on your head. Son? Like <laughs> that's what I imagine. Like. Niggas just with your hair like this, like to make you making the shit braid tight. Hell yeah, you gotta talk to them African ladies, boy. Yeah, maybe what? Yo, like really, people's whole edges be gone because they be trying. Like, why you trying to braid the edge? Like, what? Facts. Ain't shit here. Like, it's the hair they can grab. Right, but it's ridiculous. Like. <laughs> You're hurting me. Um, Ow. <laughs> With the face. Like, tight. Snicky in the chair with just a single tear running. Down. It's like sweating, nigga. Looking surprised as hell. Eyebrows. Hell. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Sweating. <laughs> nigga just going Ooh. through it. Going through it. Real shit, man. All uh, the prophets and the bloodline, they had a little dope little segment. Montez foot. I don't know if Montez is really hurt or that storyline. So that's something to keep an eye out on. Solo Sokoa and Dawkins had a good match, though. Shots to Dawkins been getting yeah. Dawkins been impressing me lately, man. Not gonna lie. I seen that match before I fell asleep. But um Dawkins been keep up the good work, Ducks. Two thumbs up, man. You're doing great, sweetie. So my son been getting clean drop kicks off. Oh, he he been learning, man. He's been doing some shit. Definitely, man. And definitely has some questions for to ask those guys. Facts. Also, I seen here that um Chris Jericho and Sammy Guevara won their match tonight that main evented the third year anniversary of uh Dynamite. So he was not sent home. You know what I'm saying? Mm-mm-mm. SMH. Didn't TMZ support? TMZ um, tweeted that? Yeah. TMZ, do you? TMZ, come on. Come on now, TMZ. We, you supposed to be a credible source. Nah. So I keep telling They're you never credible, though. TMZ I done killed it. a lot of niggas before. Yeah. They suck. <laughs> That's not funny, but it is. I think it said team. How do y'all feel about that? It's the third anniversary of AEW, man. Shit started out all promising. Yeah, I remember us. Yeah, we're going to give it a shot. Mm-mm-mm. Look at us now, three years later. Hey, look, man. Something You got to try some things. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know I mean, you just got to try. You just can't just shun some shit off. Like, nah, I'm going to go in there with a positive attitude. I'm going to see what it's about. And it's up to y'all to keep my attention. If not, I I just sleep. <laughs> I sleep at eight o'clock man, on Wednesdays. Like, yeah, but um, as far as the show ratings wise, it's doing better than I expected it to do. 
I like they flirting with a million viewers every every week, which is cool, which is dope. Like I I never thought it would reach that high. So, but as far as the product, a lot of I'm just tuned out from it. Like mm-hmm. a lot of it has turned me off from it mm-hmm. a lot. And it's not just the backstage shenanigans or the stuff you hear out of the ring. It's a lot of stuff they're doing on television. It's just like I it's, it's not it's not catching with me. I'll turn it on if I have nothing to do and I if I want to see some wrestling or if it's a storyline that that I really want to watch, I'll tap in here and there, but I'm not rushing to sit down and watch it anymore. So there you have it, folks. I tried to tell y'all from the jump. I was like, hey man, I don't Same. some, some something, bullshit. Something fishy is afoot. You know what I'm saying? Now look. I blame Tony Khan, man. I mean, he is responsible. We have Sea Geek Wrestler of the Week. Let's see what they talking about. It's the Sea Geek Wrestler of the Week. Use code B A T P O D. For twenty dollars off your first Seat Geek order, the Black Enough Table Podcast. Let's do it, man! Seat Geek Wrestler of the Week, nominated by you, the listener, on Instagram. All right, and this week we have Bobby Lashley, Solo Sokoa, Billy Gunn. <laughs> I know why. I think I know why, and um. The Brawling Brutes, mm-hmm. Pete Dunn, Ridge Holland. I'll keep that up there. Yeah, uh, so the people don't see the confusion on my face. <laughs> why, why is Billy Gunn up here? Billy? <laughs> the only reason I could think of is because next week on Raw, they're doing a 25-year anniversary for DX. And the only person missing was Billy Dunn. Mr. Ass. I don't know what, if you did anything on Dynamite or Rampage. I don't know. But when I seen the flyer, I, the first thing that came to my mind, where's Mr. Ass? I was about to pick y'all. <laughs> 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 Why he playing in his head? <laughs> <laughs> Nigga digging in his booty, man. <laughs> Dirty oh. ass fingers. <laughs> no shit. Hold on, I gotta play this. That smells bad. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you a fool. Oh man, nah, Billy Gunn. I think they did like a. It was like National Scissor Day or something like that on on AEW. So they had like a scissor celebration or that. I don't know, man. The they had a what? Wait, what did they have? <laughs> <laughs> they they had a scissor celebration on uh on AEW on Dynamite today or something like something along those lines. Hmm. Scissor festival. <laughs> I don't know, man. It's something with scissoring. So you know. All right. Well, can we vote? Sit, 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 what sit. do you got? No, some scissor. <laughs> <laughs> I'm voting for. Uh, hmm. What did Bobby Lashley do this week? Oh, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go with Bobby Lashley for fucking up um, Mustafa Ali's and Iverson braids. I'm gonna go with him. Um, I'm gonna go with Solo. I feel like he's actually been doing pretty well since he got called up. Good night. Yeah, tough. I'm gonna go Lashley, man. <laughs> <laughs> tough <laughs> Lashley. <laughs> and there you have it, man. There's your Sea Geek wrestler of the week. Uh. Let's do it, man. Let's make these predictions, man. First match, we got mm. the Brawling Brutes <laughs> versus Imperium and a six-man good old-fashioned Donnie Brook match. Hold on, man. Shh. 
This shit, this shit right here. <laughs> this shit going. This shit gonna hit for real. Yeah, nah. This match about the. They should open the show with this. Facts. This is my match of the night right here. Fuck it. I'm going to just go out and see it, man. Woo! Over the fight pit? Over the fight pit. This is my match of the night. Sheesh. Stamp it. Book it. I like that. Gunther definitely slapping mad people up. Mad chops. You get a chop. You get a chop. (laughs) Everybody after they get a chop. I was in special education. <laughs> 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 All right, who we got? Who we got? Who we got? Who we got? Hmm. Y'all go first, man. <laughs> I don't know I'm going to go with the Brutes. I'm going to go with Imperium. I'm gonna also go Imperium. That that match about to be some gasoline. Real shit, real shit. Next up, oh boy, Liv Morgan versus Ronda Rousey in an Extreme Rules match for the SmackDown Women's Championship. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I got Rhonda. It's time. It's time for Liv to get up off that chip. All she's been doing is crying and being annoying. I don't care. It's time. I got Livingston Morgan. Gross. I I have Charlotte coming back. And that's going to be the way that... Wait, but so it's no stipulation? Extreme rules. Extreme rules. Oh yeah. Regardless, though, I feel like it's time. Like I'm, I'm really sick of her. <laughs> you and me both, sisters. You and me both. Yeah. I'm, uh, I'm gonna go with Liv. Also, man, if this was just a straight up exhibition, a one v one, no, you know what I'm saying, no stipulation, I'd go Ronda. But the fact that Liv could use some shit to help her out, I'm gonna go with Sean Livingston as well. <laughs> <laughs> Next up, Drew McIntyre versus Karrion Cross in a strap match. Hey yo, Paul why does he look like this? They gonna look like a who? Drew? No. <laughs> what you mean? Also, why does Drew look like that? Yeah, it's like, nigga, why your eyes look like them? The Ice King or whatever this nigga name is. I got this being my worst match of the night, man. Book it. <laughs> The Night King, not the Ice King, but anyway. <laughs> Don't worry, my fault. It's okay. The, the Ice King is really Quavo. Nigga. You see that nigga Jerry? <laughs> <laughs> what? You see that nigga Jerry? <laughs> Jerry. I'm a I got, Ice King. Man, I got, and it's, it's boy, I got Karrion Cross winning, man. He has to. Yes, yeah. I got carrying as well. I feel like if if he loses this, I feel like it's just gonna go down the same road as it did before, where no one's gonna care and he's just gonna be a loser. So this match is very important for carrying Cross. Mm-hmm. His future depends on it. Word, because boy, if Vince McMahon was here, but <laughs> <laughs> just what buckle? He would have been like Roman number two wins the match. <laughs> His name Yo. is Drew Vince. Roman number two. <laughs> I said, I said. <laughs> Roman's understudy. Let's go. I'm going to go with uh, Mr. Cross. Look at his fist balled up. That shit looks so unintimidating, bro. Look at that. That shit look like a baked potato, man. Come on, dog. Come on. Come Yo, they, on, man. They got to bring Vince back, man. <laughs> <laughs> Where Vince at, man? <laughs> Y'all niggas be driving trucks, man. <laughs> <laughs> Doing some, some word. Why does Drew McIntyre look like this, though? For real. Like, yeah, he look weird. All right, let's come up off this slide because I they can't trying to, him no more. They're trying to make him look ill. Like, <laughs> his neck looks humongous. And then he has these light eyes. I'm <laughs> like, whoa. Facts. 
scary. <laughs> Ooh, Edge looks scary. <laughs> <laughs> Next up, <laughs> we got Edge versus Finjamin Balor in an I Quit match. I quit. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, I'm about to quit. <laughs> Bullshit. <laughs> okay, this. Uh, let me not drag it. I was gonna say this might be actually the worst match of the night, but I do think it's gonna be Drew and Karen. I got Finn winning, man. All right. <sighs> you know what that means. <laughs> but I got Finn, man. I got Finn. Hmm. Yeah, Finn, Finn needs to win this, man. <laughs> I just get deja vu. So <laughs> every time, yo, they need this, Finn. Like, uh, Finn needs to win. Also, this would be a good way to, you know, right edge off for a little bit, get that judgment day stench time. off him. Yeah, <laughs> come back. No, stop, Eve. No. You know what I'm saying? Come back and ride out into the sunset later on, man. No. How many comebacks we going to give Edge, man? For real. As many one. as y'all gave Goldberg, okay? <laughs> Words. Shit. Nah, for real. I, I do think that Finn needs this. Like, his future actually depends on this. Otherwise, he's shit. done. Real shit. Judgment Day future. Y'all depend on it too, man. Hmm. And... Edge did say that soon, like he is trying to, like you know, phase out now. So, yeah, it's time. Definitely time, man. So y'all got Finn as well. Yeah. But y'all got Finn, Jimmy. All right. Next match on the card: Bianca Belair against Bailey. Ladder match for the Raw Women's Championship. Wow, look at that smile. <laughs> it's crazy, man. <laughs> Yo, chill. This nigga took the screen. To... <laughs> they can change the screen to Drew back in time. Into... <laughs> Yo, <laughs> I ain't gonna hold you. I think I, I was talking about that. I was on live on the um Black and Nails table live, and I was talking about it's time, man. I got Bailey winning. I have wow, I have Bailey winning this one. Look at what you have time for. That's crazy, <laughs> Bianca. Anyway, <laughs> it's time, Chief. No. Ladder match. The How long perfect had that about six months. Mm, think so. Yeah, be April to now, yeah, it's been about six months. It's the perfect stipulation to get it off of. She can't be pinned. You're right. You're right. I'm, I'm gonna go with the black queen. Black queen. I'm gonna go <laughs> with Bianca, man. I'm rolling. I'm rolling. It's the last match. I think it's, yes, the last match on the card. Matthew Riddle, Sethington Rollins. All right. Matt Riddle's eyes are purple in this one. What's going on here? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he was off the haze. He is absolutely <laughs> high. That is correct. <clears throat> All right. Who y'all got? I got Riddle, man. I got Matthew. Yeah, I got Riddle too. I feel like this is just his vibe. <laughs> but I do think that Seth is going to show out. And honestly, I hope after, like, especially after he did this interview and stuff, I hope he wins. But um, I got Matt Riddle, though. You know, he's going to be wild and he's not going to be wearing no shoes. It's going to be crazy for him. <laughs> Man, Seth Rollins, his 2023 about to be crazy. This thing, he about to like win the Royal Rumble or some shit. <clears throat> He's going to be rewarded for sure. He is. You got, You need those those uh, people though. You know what I mean? The people that's just going to do whatever you need them to do and be loyal. So Dex. They about to heat him back up. Hell yeah. There you have it. 
stream rules predictions right there and once again y'all we will be live right after the pay-per-view on saturday man so y'all tune in y'all rock with us we gonna be breaking this whole live event whatever they calling it pay-per-view whole thing down match by match brick by brick premium live event brother man there we have it next up talk to me nice let's do it Somebody talk to me nice. Yeah, everything I do, I don't do. I do the other thing. Everything y'all go across the street that way, I'm going up. TTMN. Speak Talk to Me Nice is sponsored by Tito's, the official vodka of the Black Announce Table. Savor responsibly. And Body More Bottles, Baltimore's number one alcohol review show. Tap in with Body More Bottles on YouTube for the full TBAT drink of the week recipe. Facts. Let's get it, man. I'm gonna light that picture first. Now, let's get it, man. <laughs> ah, where do we start? We'll start with Vaughn. You know what I'm saying? See me right there? Chill. Don't don't look at me. Shouts to Vaughn. He said TTMN one guy to go. The Rock, Stone Cold, Shawn Michaels, or Eddie Guerrero. Eddie Guerrero. That was easy. What's it, y'all? Shit. Mm. For those people, yeah, it would be Eddie for me as well. Yeah, Eddie already gone, so. Yeah. That was just easy. Do you know what I'm saying? What nigga keep break? <coughs> come come on back, big it? dog. Word. Oh. You good? I'm straight. All right. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you you good? Why you leave? Nah, I'm, I'm nah. Nigga said nah. I don't want to spill something. Um, <laughs> oh man, this is tough. It's tough, but yeah, man. I'm sorry, Eddie. Rest in peace, Eddie. Nice. Right, RIP. <clears throat> he also said TTML one gotta go. Randy Orton, John Cena, Edge, or Roman Reigns. Now this is easy. <laughs> <laughs> I like this one way better. <laughs> we hey, yo, Adam Copeland. Get your ass up out of there, boy. We getting age smooth out of there. I will have to agree with that. Stay hating, man. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, who you picking? I might gotta pick Edge too. Bro. <laughs> 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 out of all these niggas, Randy <laughs> Orton, John Cena, Roman Reigns. Come on now. Word oh, edge. Fuck out of here, edge. Word. I ain't dumb. <laughs> you cannot trick me, edge. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, let me like these. I'm edgy. Uh, called the nigga edgy. For <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> shouts, to, shouts to peeps. Uh, TTM, man, since all the rap females are beefing, what extreme rules match would you put them in? Mm. Oh, that's a good one. Who's been beefing? I've been, I've been, uh, I haven't been tapped in. Who's been beefing? Uh, everybody, everybody, because Nicki Minaj wants to be petty. Yeah, big Nick. You know, for what she do? Yeah, basically anybody that's fucking with Cardi B, she's like, you know, oh, being she, petty, she unfollowing them, and then starting shit, and yeah. JT and Cardi been going back and forth on Twitter. I'm like, I. I really don't know who would win in a fight between these two because JT been to jail recently, <laughs> and she went to jail for fraud. Let's be clear. Let's be clear. Yeah, but she well. could still fight. I'm sure. All but right. then Cardi's from the Bronx, and we know that she fights for sport as well. So <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I like to see it. Hey, Cardi B versus JT in a a fight pit. Ooh. Cardi B about to <laughs> Yo, Cardi oh. is ooh. Cardi's Cardi putting hands sidewalk, feet. Slam JT. Jeffrey Dahmer JT, nigga. Don't All do right. that. Too soon. Too soon. Special education. <laughs> <laughs> My bad. <laughs> You know me. <laughs> I wouldn't be me if I didn't say nothing. <laughs> but yeah, I would like to see that fight, fight pit. Let's go. 
Facts. Cardi versus JT. We need that. Facts. Cardi been looking good too. <clears throat> Shit, JT. JT been. I, I don't know. I haven't seen. I haven't seen much of JT. I've been seeing a lot more of uh, Young Miami, who's mm-hmm. been looking fantastic. You know what I'm saying. She sure has. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I feel like they be alternating. Like one year be Carisha, next year be JT. Then mm-hmm. Carisha pop out looking scrum dilly umptious. Then you know what I'm saying they they take turns. I like that. Facts. I like that. Mm. And it, hey, let me not say what I was gonna say about Diddy man. Anyways, shouts to the <laughs> outside. <laughs> shouts to the outsiders connection. Uh, he said, TTM, man, what are the essentials to a cookout besides the alcohol for my drinkers? Football watch party, etc. Like the snacks, decorations, whatever. The essentials, let me tell you something, brother. You need three things. You need music. You need food. You need liquor. You feel me? And that's said, for any... He said besides alcohol. Oh, well, well music and food. And then what else? Mm, to a cookout, football watch party. Football watch party, well, you're going to need some chairs, a little bit of space. You know what I'm saying? Because niggas get drunk. It might, I don't know where you at. You might be in a location where it's still hot outside. Nigga might want to take a seat, relax, cool off. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. TV, your TV must be big enough for everybody to watch TV. <laughs> yeah, that part. Don't invite me over here to watch nothing on a 32-inch Toshiba. <laughs> I am leaving. <laughs> I'm going home. Now, the funny shit is, like, niggas will be like, yo, we it's a fight party. We get there, got the TV and everything. Niggas ain't got the fight. Like, dog, so why am I fucking here, bro? Like, you know, make sure you got cable or whatever you watch. Or make sure you legal watch. stream, whatever it is. Yeah. Make sure it's set up. I pull up, niggas got a damn... A laptop on a damn <laughs> stool, like nigga. I'm nigga. Why y'all nigga? I got dressed up to come here, bro. Word. Mm-hmm. Ain't y'all invited the hoes here? Shaking my head, man. Niggas love doing that too. Invite the hoes to some embarrassing shit. Now, <laughs> now I'm embarrassed, nigga. Like we all embarrassed here. <laughs> we all look dirt. <laughs> up here, like I'm looking bad because you, my man's. <laughs> now I'm looking bad by way of you, like. She look at me like I'm some broke ass nigga. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> my life. <laughs> I look like some bum ass nigga now because you don't you fucked up the vibes. Oh. Then the nigga get angry, start you know what I'm saying? Start talking crazy to the hoes. They leave. <laughs> it's like nigga just fuck the whole vibe up for everybody. It's like, all right, come on now. It's always that one nigga that can't be around the women, man. They don't give that nigga no rhythm. That nigga start talking crazy. Niggas go to the kitchen, start talking extra loud. I don't even know why these bitches on here. It's like, this nigga, chill. Like, take it easy, bro. Go ahead, chill, bro. Hit this, the hashish, nigga, and chill, relax. Oh, my God. Son. Nigga fucking up the vibe with the women folk because you mad, nigga. Mm-mm. That's exactly how it goes. Huh? Whew. Yeah, nigga oh. traumatized. <laughs> mm-hmm. Um, shots to Ken. Chris Ann, you can read this. <laughs> Absolutely. Ooh, so much to read today, Ken. Yeah, go ahead. Get All your right. mic vocal snigger. <laughs> For real. Um, TTMN, he said, Hope everyone is having a great day today, especially you. Eve, because I heard you say you were going through some things. Oh, so the shots I'm sending off today are not aimed at you. It's for Cody Dre. <laughs> Sponsors, excuse my language, but Cody Dre, why in the blue fuck would you consume candy corn? Questions that need answers, Ken. Candy corn. Of all candies, you choose the can the, the candle wax. My good brother, I need you to love yourself for real and throw that garbage away. Also, Extreme Rules is coming up, and I just want to say, Miss Suku, show them who you are and take your crown back. Ken, my crown is right here, sweetheart. Let me show you. Close your eyes. This is Ken only. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 
just she said, yeah, nigga, that's not first off, that's not yours. And you got it in a brown paper bag. <laughs> Bitch, I got it in the case that it came in, okay? Brown paper bag. <laughs> y'all wanna know where Chris Ann got y'all y'all wanna know where Chris Ann got her damn crown from? Listen right here. I was in special education. <laughs> 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 Yo, <laughs> Ooh, thank you, Nori. I'm gonna get some use out of that right there. You feel me? <laughs> oh, man. God. but yeah, now we, we need to answer some questions, man. No, we don't. KP, can you, can you is it possible you could put the law and order music under this? Ken, why y'all asking me about what I'm, y'all be eating? What y'all Twizzlers eating red rubber and <laughs> sweet as fish? All the bullshit y'all be eating, and, and I eat candy corn. And now people like, no, let me do me. Y'all do y'all. Sweet, first of all, Swedish fish is fine. You feel me? It's Swedish fish is no, it's not. Swedish fish. Is Twizzlers fine. is Twizzlers rubber. Is Twizzler is tires. Okay, you're eating tires. <laughs> um, yeah. It's out for Twizzlers, but watch your mouth when you talk about Swedish fish. Okay, thank you. Oh, God. Man, look, we might have to revisit this uh this top ten candy conversation again one day. We I think we did this early, like way, 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 way back. But mm -hmm. might have to yeah. revisit this man. This man eating candy corn. Stink. I <laughs> love it. Crazy. Yeah. So when I go in the store and I see candy corn. Good, easy access. You know what I'm saying? I don't everybody fall back. You fall back. I just want to go in the store and pick up candy corn. That's it. <laughs> niggas say easy access. <laughs> yeah, because once you because you know once niggas like some, y'all hog it up and niggas can't get none. No, I go in there, it's candy corn. Good. You're don't right. like it. <laughs> don't you right. <laughs> it took people months to try Popeye's chicken sandwich. Mm. Months. <laughs> Oh, good time. Oh, my God. Shouts to you, Ken, for that uh, <laughs> that TTMN. I appreciate you sparing me this week. <laughs> <laughs> Shouts to KP, man. Wait, are these? Is this a Tim? Are these emojis? Hold on, man. Uh -oh. Tim emojis with dimensions. I know what they're doing. <laughs> she I said what they're let me, let me see what he talk about. What, what up, family? family? Uh, TTMN? Send me y'all shoe sizes so I can uh, pick y'all up some for the Grammy Awards in a few weeks. Just uh, go ahead and text that to me. But um, love y'all. Peace. Talk to you later. Bye. I don't Aww. know what this is about. <laughs> Hold. Nah, boy. Hell, boy. Ain't no fucking way, boy. Hold on. Wait, what? I'm confused. Did this nigga send through the glazed Timberland boot? Nigga, why does she look like Krispy Kreme? <laughs> <laughs> this edible ass boot. <laughs> That's a bag. This shit looks delicious. <laughs> Boy. I will take it in a size seven. <laughs> hey, Women, if so. you're buying these for us, KP, I, I'll take a size 12, but I'm also going to sign them and give them to, to Victor Perry's kids. As you know, what I'm saying like, hey, here y'all go. They don't <laughs> what want the that. They what are they collectively gonna do with one size twelve boot? <laughs> they all gonna wear that shit. Yeah, <laughs> don't throw that shit back at me. <laughs> don't throw that my head. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Boo, this man. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, nah, That's this glazed boot do. is crazy, son. Yeah. The Can I enlarge the image? Nah, this shit is nuts. Where do I even wear glazed boots at, nigga? The RB party. 
<laughs> like I said, these tiny ass Timberland boots, man. Ooh. These shit is made of plastic, son. <laughs> nah, that was a few <laughs> Yeah, you wear them then. <laughs> he said they look like Krispy Kreme. <laughs> oh man, let's see what Banks soak them out. You ain't lying though, because somebody brought Krispy Kremes to work this week, and that's exactly how them shits was looking. Carry <laughs> on. Glazing them off. <laughs> 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 oh shit. Shouts to whoever brought Krispy Kremes to work too. Yeah, God she bless. worked there, matter of fact. Half time, or, uh, she worked at Krispy Kreme part time, yeah. That's fine. She was like, I made these. I was like, I love you, you're great. Oh, well, you need to work at Chick fil A next. Facts, <laughs> real talk. <laughs> Bring some lemonade and nuggets through for the, for the gang one time. All right, let's see what Banks talking about, man. It might be, bullshit. of course. I was gonna say it might be, bullshit. it might not be, but it's Banks. It's 100% some, bullshit. Let's see. <laughs> he said, Why is Cody eating candy corn? The we worst know, candy man. ever made no lie. Hey. Like like the man said, he just like candy corn, man. Word. Do you put them in your teeth from pretend they fangs and shit like that? No, Eve. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a grown ass man. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga pretend he dracula. No, Eve. I'm friend. a grown ass man. <laughs> he a candy corn. Meanwhile, he <laughs> put them in his teeth like this. <laughs> Jasmine, come dracula. look at this. <laughs> All right, man. <laughs> <laughs> he said, also, what would it take for Ethan Cody to wear the acclaimed shirts with the tagline, and I quote, scissor me. See, brother? <laughs> shit like this, I got I to gotta no sell you, man. I got to move on to the next question, man. You should have thumbs down it. Oh, yeah, you're right. Let me see. Where is that? What is? I got it. Oh, oh, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> he was about pick. to fold. He was about to fold so fast. Like, I can't find it. I'm gonna pick the yellow thumb because you a yellow man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my son Kung Fu Eddie sent. What's this? He sent pictures. Let's see. Well, this what one the fuck this learned. nigga. That shit said. <laughs> that shit said disappearing. Man, I opened it. The shit closed itself. <laughs> <laughs> nah, this shit different. What is this shit, man? Yo. Whoa. <laughs> Why is it hating on yeah. Kung Fu Eddie? Right? This nigga Eddie sent some bullshit through. Hold on, man. <laughs> Let me see what he sent. Use Instagram app to see this type of message. What a picture, nigga? <laughs> That's wild. Also, oh. why they have disappearing messages on yo? Instagram is messy. I don't know if I play it from my phone, if it'll make an echo. But do y'all want to hear what he's talking about? To answer his question, sure. All right, let's see. Hello, Tom Fuetti here with another TT MN for this week. Right now, I'm at Bucky's. If you know anything about Bucky's, it's basically a beautiful gas station supermarket here in the South. Cody, you probably know it. Anywho, um, this is Monday Night Raw. Seth Rollins got a little spicy, so I wanted to ask, what are your fighting words? What are the words that will trigger you to start just throwing down? Anyways, peace. Hmm. Hello? Hello? Hmm. Well, he also sent a picture of him with, what's this? Bucky Nucky's <laughs> pumpkin spice. What the fuck? All right, this sounds crazy. Hold on, I'm gonna say this picture though. Feel me, so I can do an investigation. What is Bucky Nucky's? Nucky, if you Bucky, chill. <laughs> Nucky, <if> you... <laughs> <laughs> I would walk smooth out of that gas station <laughs> if a pastry was named Nucky, if you Bucky. I'm like, all right, <laughs> well, yeah, I gotta go, man. <laughs> I might get shot in here. All right, let me go. I'm gonna be like, give me three. <laughs> let me get three. Um, one, two. <laughs> 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 All right. Um, what are what are our fighting words? Bum bitch. That's some somebody call you that. That's you on go. Damn. Nah, I just literally saw a TikTok where some girl was uh, making a joke. 
like um just saying like oh like he called me like toxic and manipulative and a bum bitch and she's like whoa 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 I'm never <laughs> <been a> bum- <laughs> um honestly I don't I don't know I don't feel like I feel like people would like talking shit about like people I care about would more like you know make me want to fight somebody over something that they would say about mm-hmm. me like a trigger word personally yeah i don't know what would trigger me to start throwing throwing down it would gotta be crazy you gotta say like say something about like my family or some shit exactly like say something about my mama or some shit my word like you call me a trifling hoe and i'm gonna just be like whatever nigga yeah fuck on my face you gotta do something and what about it the word's not going Really do much. Yeah, you either gotta, you either gotta say something about my family. Mm-hmm. You gotta put your if you touch me or put your hands on me first. Yeah, then I yeah. can sidewalk slam you. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> or if somebody spits on me, is the song? Oh yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Spitting for sure is uh, grounds for killing somebody. I would say in my yeah. book. Yeah, that's on go. Mm-hmm. No, don't spit on me, man. You know what I'm saying, punishable by. I might black out. You know what I'm saying. You spit on me, I might lose my mind. Yeah, and do some whole other shit. You know what I'm saying. It's we in the street now, bro. I might, I might throw your head into a damn fire hydrant, breaking that. Hey, boy, ain't no, ain't no way, ain't no telling what I do. You know what I'm saying. No. Gorilla pressing, nigga. I, I really saw. I'll start fighting like damn, bam, bam, Bigelow out here, nigga. <laughs> do some whole wild shit. All right, let's go on to Twitter. Twitter. See what they tell them about. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. Ah, yes. This nigga KP said, covering all bases like Ken, has anyone ever made you this upset? Damn. What's this? Oh my God. You're in fact that somebody kicked him in his ass. <laughs> 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 yo, hold on now. Nah. First off, yo, he yo. He got kicked in his ass twice. <laughs> <laughs> he grabbed the nigga's head and head the nigga like this. And nah, it, I missed that. I never seen that in my life. Nah, I yeah. missed that. Run that. That's yeah, I missed crazy. that too. I, I don't even know if, if we can show I, fights I was... on YouTube because we might get get clipped for showing fights on YouTube. But oh, we'll like, just black it out. Whatever. Yeah. I was looking at a nigga get kicked in his ass. I missed that. (laughs) 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 Yo. Yo, 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 yo. No, this is crazy, (laughs) sir. He got that nigga to sleep. <laughs> that nigga in a damn Kamara lot. <laughs> Who is that nigga? <laughs> Wesley Snipes. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that's hilarious. Ain't nobody made me that mad yet. Thank yeah, God. That's crazy. They was throwing old stanchions at this nigga, kicking him in the ass, <laughs> punching him in the head. That nigga grabbed the nigga by the head and headbutt him. That's Somebody cool. literally picked up the whole thing that you, you know, section off and shit him with it. And he still has son in a chokehold. That's yeah. crazy. I would have ran away. Like, this nigga still on his feet after I hit him in the head with this shit. Yeah. This well, the guy that got head butted ran away. He couldn't even stand up straight after that. <laughs> he was out for the count. Yeah, he got a concussion. That's why. Because <laughs> he literally said. <laughs> Yo, KP, you might have to edit that part out though, because I don't think we can show fights. Cause they'll demonetize us. Um, let's see. Shouts to Tasha. She said, How did y'all like the blog I wrote about you? It was beautiful. Thank you, Fact. Tasha. I loved it. I sent it to my girl, everything. But it was cool just seeing I don't know, seeing somebody write something about us like it was just, I don't know, it was sweet also. Like, that was a sweet gesture of you. Yeah. So thank you for that. Yep. Um, Chess to DMV fan. 
He said, who's the wrestler you think should be on TV more? Mine is Mustafa Ali. Mm, TV more. We're not getting... We're not getting burned like that. <sighs> Who needs to be on TV more? I think everybody is, is on TV. Well, the people I want to be on TV is on TV. Yeah, I'm not really looking for nobody right now. That's why we got to get Vince back because we got to get Reggie on TV. Mm-mm. Word. That's it. I miss Reggie. I miss seeing our truth too. Definitely got to get our, our truth some a little bit more TV time, man. Somewhere. Do something, man. <laughs> Um, shouts to Click. He sent this. Let's see. This is still rat beef with, with you and him. Yes, with another TTM. All on my youth. My boy Click beefing with himself. It's funny. <laughs> <laughs> Black and out table. Aloysius Skipper Jenkins the third. You have to say the whole thing like Trap Call Quest. With another TTM in. Talk to me nice. I talk to me nigga. Anyway, y'all want to know who my partner is? I tell you. I tell you who my partner is. I tell you. But I got three clues. One, two, three. Three clues. Let's see if you can guess who my partner is. And I'll reveal who he or she is. Episode 150. Here's your first clue. <laughs> Fuck is that? Black announce table. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga showed me some. <laughs> Nigga, show me a napkin, nigga. <laughs> Yo, is this your name Zaxby's napkin, nigga? What is this? <laughs> Look at that. Yeah, that's a drop. <laughs> <Fuck> that. <laughs> Bro, I don't know what. Now, what? What am I looking at? Is this a damn Venom mask? Half Spider Man, half Venom. Mm. Hey. Look, man. I don't know what this clue is. But it damn sure is not intimidating. <laughs> In episode 150? Or... 250. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Let him. No, he had it right. In episode 150, we could we could find out who your opponent is. <laughs> who you with. It don't matter. Episode 150, yeah, we'll find out. Oh. There you go. You got it. Hey. <laughs> got it, click. <laughs> oh shit! That was it, man. All right. Yeah, man. Y'all know the vibes. Since I don't have my drop, I do give my all. In case y'all didn't know, man, it's your boy Cody Dre. You can follow me on Twitter, every social media platform at Cody Dre. C O D I E D R E. Listeners, man, thank you so much for rocking with us. Getting through this episode, you already know where to find us. Same place, same time next week. Also, right after Extreme Rules, tap into Black Announce Table YouTube page. We going live. Come kick it with us for the after show. We going to talk about it like a family all together. You dig? I holla at y'all then. Y'all stay safe. Take care. And it's your girl. I miss Suku. You can follow me on everything. I miss Suku. And you already know it's a tribal princess. Fuck with us. I'm about to get my title back this Saturday. Who are ready? Later. I was in special education. Wow. <laughs> uh, this is Ephraim's testimony personally. <laughs> oh, that don't got nothing to do with me, man. <laughs> Hey, do what y'all need to do. Follow us on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, at Black Announce Table. YouTube especially. Go run them subs up. We're on the road to 2,000. You feel me? So run that up. Get us to 2K. Mm, Let's say before Thanksgiving, let's get to 2,000. You know what I'm saying? Um, Also, patreon.com slash Black Announce Table. New TBAT radios up. New wiretap. It's all up there, man. Tap in, go fuck with us. Y'all know where to listen to us at Spotify, Apple Pods, Amazon, uh, iHeart. It's all there. You know what I'm saying? I'm Scott Haif on Twitter and Instagram. The good guy, the good you, 
Gucci Mon. I'm him, the champ, the champion. Episode 248, man. We up out of here.